So first on my list is a super budget controller, which I've used for a couple client shoots so far, which is called the Jumper T Lite. Now, in terms of reliability, I don't know how reliable this thing is because some people said that theirs just stopped working. However, in mine, it's been running just fine. So um, just check the forums before you actually make the purchase. Now, it's a really great $78. And what you get with this is you can actually bind or connect to almost anything in the market from the toys to the current quadcopters except like crossfire but anything that's running 2.4 gigahertz you'll be able to just connect just fine what's really nice with this is that the it has a battery charger built in so you can plug in a USB-C cable and start charging and or play with the simulator for $77 which is insane we never had that back then when we first started so this is like almost almost a professional entry point here which is really really great now, next down the line, I know it's Eoshin, but it's basically Radio King or Radio Master. I forgot which one anyways. Um, I've been using this for the past three weeks so far. And it actually beats my $500 radio, which is the FR Sky Horus, in many different ways. In quality, in feel, in, uh, I don't want to say options, because they basically, actually, you know, possibly options as well. Because you could take an 18650 and you could actually charge via USB Type-C. And you could actually connect via USB Type-C and play uh, simulators. You just plug it in, you're good to go, which is really insane. And it's running OpenTX and it's not laggy and it has a really beautiful screen on there. So if you do have the cash to dish this out, this is a really great choice. Not only that, you do have a multi-protocol module inside, which will allow you to bind to just about all of the bind and fly quadcopters out there, which is really great. So you'll be able to, for example, buying for fr sky fly sky even the chinese toys it's insane so this is a really great deal here in my opinion and i've used it so these are the two transmitters i'm currently looking at and what i'd recommend um, it, or what i would actually pick up myself for if i'm just about to start right now oh by the way i'm using this one as my main now by the way so this one i haven't used i've used a couple of toolkit rc's components here but I was looking at this like if I were about to start, what would I purchase? I would actually pick up this because I wish we had a four channel for a hundred dollars. Even two years ago, we still didn't even have that. Uh, so this is pretty awesome here at five amps. You could charge four batteries. You don't need any. You just plug them in and you, you're good to go here. Now, the problem with this is if you're going to be running 6S, uh, I, it's not going to work. This max is, this charges a maximum of a 4S. So keep that in mind. So if you need 6S, this is not good. But if you're planning on sticking to 4S for a while, a 4S battery, um, then this would be actually a pretty good uh, choice here. And not only that, if you look at the back here, it takes both AC and DC, which means you could actually plug this to your car's battery and start charging in the field, which is really awesome. And that's something I always look for here. Next down the line, you'll definitely need some 18650 battery chargers. Uh, this is the one. This is the my favorite one, actually. Uh, this is the new one. I've had the older one, and I just received the, this newer one here. And it's all I've been using, and it's just an absolute joy to use. So, um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I use right now. Uh, this one, if you're planning on getting a beefier charger and you're planning on doing parallel charging, if you're up to that, this is not bad. There's plenty of them in the market. This is what's really cool. This it does both uh, XT 60s and XT 30s. So you could charge your little tiny batteries and your big batteries, uh, which is really nice to have. So, um, yeah, both of them are just, yeah, we could use that, which is really useful at times. This is a must have. I don't care who you are. I actually, I still have mine. It's been three years since I've had this and I actually cannot go anywhere without it. So this just checks your battery's health and everything. And it has some other features, which I definitely do use sometimes, which is I can plug in a battery from here and enable USB charge mode and charge whatever I want via USB from the batteries I have left over, like my phone, my GoPro, whatever it might be. This is a really, really handy tool. You have no idea. Definitely worth every single penny. And I, I guarantee you every year youtuber and every person who has this cannot live without this uh that's how good they are so this is a must have on your must have list if you do have a must have list and everything here is linked down below this one is an okay backpack i wouldn't fully recommend it those little parts will, will come off easily actually as soon as i got mine they ripped off but the internal the internal storage is decently sized not the biggest but you can get a couple things fitted fit, fitted in there and i do like how it has everything laid out it's pretty nice 
and um, yeah that's just something to keep in mind next down the line these definitely recommended you can get them from US warehouse a European warehouse and from China and what's really nice with this is it takes the least amount of space yet very reliable and that's why I'd recommend them uh, you could probably find cheaper somewhere else uh, here we have a smoke stopper so if you're afraid you're building your new quadcopter stick it through this so uh, it doesn't catch fire and you'll know if uh, if, if anything bad happened basically uh, the fuse will break this is a must-have. I don't care who you are. These are three millimeter standoffs, which you'll definitely need in your quadcopters in a crash or if you're building. These will last you a good while. So definitely pick some of these up. These are my favorite brand, by the way. These are the, the best ones I've ever used, actually, and the only ones I use till this day. Next down the line is you're going to need a soldering iron. Now, there's I have so many soldering irons, and this is the one that I'm actually using. I have the more expensive ones. I have most of those really expensive rework stations and everything. This is an absolute beast. It's so tiny. It fits on my table. It's always next to me, and the heat dissipate or the, the heat transfer is really good and definitely recommend it. For 46 bucks, you will not find anything better. It outperforms some things that cost over 150 bucks. So in my opinion, this is a really, really um, good product. And I've been using it now for almost a year or since I got it, I don't know when, um, anywhere between six to a year, I believe now. Tattoo R-Line batteries are really good batteries. However, they have one big drawback, which I, the reason why I stopped buying them, they don't last very long. They're very sensitive in a crash and, they're, they're more sensitive than any other battery. And, and I tend to, I, and I found that as a, as, a, as a pattern that keeps repeating itself. High delivering batteries tend to die out quicker than average batteries. But that's not the case with all of the batteries. Tattoo R lines, I, I, have, I don't think I have any more left. They just died within a six months period of time. However, the ones that I am sticking to now are the China Hobby lines. These orange ones are pretty good. Actually, they're, they're the good ones from the China Hobby line. I never used the black, so I can't really say. But these will last quite a while. The white ones are less, slightly less powerful, but you do get really good power. However, they last even longer. So it's a, there's a trade-off there. Um, if you want really high-performing batteries, they're not going to last very long. Um, and if you want a, a medium, they, they, you don't go any cheaper than the white China Hobby Lines. At least these are from the ones that I've tested. The white China Hobby Lines are just, that's it. Uh, if you go any lower, you really will not really enjoy the full potential of your quadcopter. Tattoo R Lines, the China Hobby Line, these orange ones, and also the white ones are really, really great. And, well, everything's linked down below. Wait for part two where we're going in a little bit deeper into things. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.